guys, Gary here. Thanks for checking in today. Let's talk about the Mod 3 Sling Duver. So you open the package, you get something that looks like this. And it consists of a few parts, hook, shot cord, duver tab, duver hanger. Mod 3 difference over the other ones uh, is mostly based around the hanger. And now we use a piece of Velcro one wrap with some laser cut holes in it. Eventually, it looks just like this. The key to it is, um, you can wrap it around different size slings. If it's a real skinny sling, you can just cut off whatever excess there is. It also means you can take it off of the rifle, move it to a different one, or uh, you don't have to disassemble the sling to slide on the old plastic hanger to the correct spot. Uh, that's always a, a joy. You can put it on an already assembled sling. And um, when you get it uh, semi-assembled, you basically just run the shot cord through the fuzzy part into the hook back out onto the loop part when you adjust it you just knot off the part uh, so that it's the right length cut off the extra maybe hit it with a little lighter to uh, melt the end keep it from fraying so much so the way you use these when the sling is attached to the rifle you if it's adjustable you adjust it as tight as it goes Get to the apex of the, of the loose part of the sling, wrap it around the stock, and at that apex is where we're going to attach the hanger. Uh, and then we will adjust the hook almost till it gets to wherever we're going to attach it. Knot it off so that the shock cord will give it a little bit of tension. You'll end up with something that's pretty much like this. Uh, it's here on my son's rifle. You have... Blue, he has a blue force gear sling on here, like one of the economy ones. It's like one inch, so it's pretty slim. And uh, we've tightened the, the adjustability all the way. Bring it to the apex around the stock. And then we just stretch this to attach to his sling mount that happens to be at the back of the receiver. So that is how we maintain a tight sling and it's easily repeatable. We do our stuff, like pull it out of the car. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there is a moment. I can now grab the, the tab that's hanging free, loosen it, throw it over my head, whatever I want to do, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Excuse me, I want to repeat that drill. Take it back off. Reattach it, stuff it back in the car again and again and again. Uh, so that is the key. We want to put it at the apex after the adjustment of the sling has been tightened as much as possible. Um, I'm going to install one here on a sling that we got running on my one of my rifles here. Uh, it is, the one I'm using is an inch and a quarter blue force gear, not just this one inch. Sling Duber has been tested on a variety of slings. So the like the aforementioned uh, economy blue force gear VCAS. Uh, the regular Blue Force Gear VCAS, which is like an inch and a quarter. Uh, this inch and a half uh, UW gear sling works on that. Inch and three quarter Goobers sling works on that. And the itch, inch and seven eighths uh, Blue Force Gear padded VCAS sling. Uh, the sling hanger comes long enough to fit all of those. And then again, if it's on a one of the short ones, just do a tight wrap and cut it off and you're good to go. All right, there's Midwest Industries. Uh, it's my recce rifle. That seems to be real popular to say on the internet. So maybe by me saying it, it will help the algorithm because people search the word recce a bunch. Um, so it's 16 inch gun, uh, lightweight, and a one to eight optic on it uh, that I've been beating the hell out of for six or seven years now trying to get it to shit to bed and it hasn't so we've attached the sling to the sling spots I like to attach them to that's as close to the receiver as possible uh, back of the receiver has a QR socket a QD socket so does the back of the rail front of the sling I have a blue force gear red uh, it's the pool style instead of the push style quick release and then in the back I have a from Q a sling devil uh, because it doesn't fucking rattle and make a bunch of noise that drives me nuts so uh we just we tighten the adjustment on the sling as much as it will go 
then we wrap it around till we have the apex of that uh, the slack this is where I will attach my duber hanger so I've wrapped the one wrap around I have a little tab I'm gonna have to cut off here I don't have a pair of scissors with me in the studio so I will cut that off in a minute and then I just need to shorten these until this has the stretch to hook back into my sling attachment. Once it has some stretch in it, I know that it'll hold it tight. Yeah, it keeps them taut on the line. And uh, after I knot it, I just cut off the end, same as I'm gonna do to the uh, duber hanger. So there it is, all set up. I haven't trimmed every, everything yet, but I will in a moment. Uh, we'll add a still shot on here once it's been trimmed off and the shot cord has been heated up on the end, but that is what we are looking for when we are done. Uh, I can still shoulder the rifle with the sling uh, in the stowed position, and I just grab the tab and release it whenever I want. Sling Duber, Mod 3.